All right. Um, I just stole these 10 from the other part of my circuit over there. Uh, as you already know, these are lit up wirelessly to my rest of my all my hundreds of LEDs. Anyhow, um, you can watch the last video if you don't know what I'm talking about. Now I'm seeing right now if I could possibly... I just have the meter there. I'm just showing you. It's just a capacitor. LEDs to the diodes. Um, now it's, the voltage is actually dropping right now because that capacitor is still it's still discharging from when I took it from the other area of the circuit. Um, <clears throat> now I was trying to see if now, now my meter's in the way, but I also I put it over here. Oops. What's going on? I think my connection over there is a little weak. All right, anyhow. Oh, that's going up. That's going up. I didn't think that was going up before. All right, but anyhow, let me show you this too. What if we leave it right there and we take a small alligator clip. Now I'm going to connect the tip of that, those diodes there to the end of these. Now these LEDs are already, these three groups of 20 are already connected to each other. I think I already mentioned that, didn't I? All right. Now we're going to touch right over here on the last leg. Look how much brighter they just got. And now these are pretty nice and blinding. And we're still not draining the system of the 700 LEDs at all. <laughs> This just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> uh, you can see these are not lit right now. I still have the end hooked to these. These are still lit up very nice. Um, my meter is now hooked across this capacitor going to 20. Okay, and the meter, well, you can see there's very close to 50. But get, it's diverting the energy now that these don't light up. Now, I think I already showed you this, right? Just a metal plate laying on the ground there. We could just uh, take this here, zap. Actually, these got brighter too. So we could redirect that energy. Now, take this back off show you this meter is so you should probably these LEDs will probably get brighter too there you go see so the meter was hindering the circuit and those also lit up right away uh, now what if I connect this also everything still gets brighter huh can I light an LED camping lamp yes supposed to. Anyhow, 32 LEDs around there. Strange thing is they're not that bright. You got uh, <laughs> it's only approximately three and a half volts across them though. Huh. So now we must have more current.
Okay guys, just want to show you this right now. Uh, now you know we have 815 LEDs. Well, I just killed out these upper ones, the 240. Actually, there's one, two LEDs out of them lit. Okay, all these other ones are still lit good. Then right here, there's actually... Uh, there's a 468 plus this one by itself plus this one way up way up here by itself so that's 470 uh, plus we have these that we know for sure have two and a half volts across each one of them uh, that's another 60 uh, plus uh, this one, another 10, 20, 30, 40, uh, 45. So anyhow, we got a total of 575 LEDs lit right now. Uh, like I said, these 240 are out, but I've kind of replaced uh, those 240 in a sense with one of these which is a 3.5 watt 120 volt now I only have about let me show you that 77 volts across it there we go Okay, this is coming directly right off of my circuit down here. And there we go. So the guy, he's got reflectors on both sides. Uh, whoops. I know it's kind of bright, guys. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. <laughs> it really is. It really is. Uh, it's all right. And actually, whoops. There you go. Did you hear it spark? <laughs> it's stuck to the foil. Okay. I'll be right back. Now watch this. All right, guys. Now... As you can see, everything's still the same. Those are off, but these are all on, looking very nice. And these are all on, looking very nice. And our power is still 16 volts. The most this frequency generator could put out is point. Uh, 100 amps 100 milliamps would be 1.6 watts but I've already shown you power measurements in earlier videos that it's a uh, 200 milliwatts because there's no load now uh, let me show you this is uh, here is come on focus it Okay, there we go. Hopefully you can see that. It's a 10 watts, 120 volt AC, 60 hertz. All right. And hopefully you can see that. 114.5 volts. Okay, let's set that down. There we go. So there's 120 volt 10 watt bulb on top of 575 LEDs. Two hundred milliwatts. 
And even if I'm wrong, it can't possibly any way, shape, or form be 1.6 watts. And I know it's not that much because there's no load on the source. Hey guys, uh, Paul Inventor 3 here. Uh, it's a new day uh, since my last video segment that you probably just watched a few seconds ago. Uh, anyhow, uh, I think I've already showed you and mentioned to you guys about these LEDs going out because I had a 10 watt bulb lit. And you can see there's actually still some power in them. You can see the LEDs are still barely lit in there. You know, but these are still good. These have two volts across each one. You know, again, 400 and plus. These have two volts across them. These have 2.5 volts across them. And these have all 2.5 volts across them. Okay, so we're talking about, let's not even count these right now. Okay, let's say these are not even lit. Okay, there's no energy there, which you know there's some energy there, but anyhow. Okay, we got, let me explain this so that everyone can understand. It's 16 volts, okay, per the manufacturer, this can only put out 100 milliamps, okay, and, and power is a direct result is measured in units of watts and it's a direct result of voltage times current okay so 16 volts times one tenth of one amp would be 1.6 watts okay now I've spent over four months talking back and forth with videos and conversations with probably one of the most qualified people on this planet to be checking power systems such as this uh, it was through John Hutchison, and John Hutchison through somebody, and that somebody introduced me to this person. Okay, so yeah, it's uh, you know, according to my power readings, I'm only having input of what was it, 200 milliamps, two tenths of one watt but let's say I'm wrong and I made some kind of human error and this is 1.6 watts not 200 milliwatts okay now you're talking about 200 there you go guys you're talking about 200 milliwatts okay, <laughs> lighting two 10 watt bulbs 120 volts Okay, now they're not full brightness, but you can see I got 112 volts. That's just one active spot in my area, my circuit, which I could probably make many more. And yeah, there's so much to be done. And but anyhow, guys, do you get it? Even if I'm wrong at two tenths watts of power, let's assume, which I don't like that word, it makes an ass out of you and me, that it's 1.6 watts maximum this can be putting out. I have lit two 10 watt bulbs plus another 575 LEDs with two volts or more across each one okay <laughs> guys oh my god it has been one long day oh, and this project is so exciting it's, it's kind of disappointing when I see that after 20 years of research and everything that I got like 200 and something views in a week, and it's like, don't people get it? Oh, I'm like, oh, you see what I'm doing here? 
Oh, uh, I feel like, and I have said this right from the beginning of this project, I feel like as though I'm going to be able to extract unlimited amounts of energy from anything that could produce a couple volts. Period. That's it. But anyhow, yeah. <laughs> Please share. <laughs> I'm just trying to change the world, man, since I was born. That's like my whole purpose on this planet, man, really. it's. And uh, I've tried in many different ways, and this seems to be when I got into science and I asked that first question, what is electricity and where does it come from? And like, <laughs> whoa, what? These subatomic, these subatomic particles are flowing through the wire at the speed speed of light near the speed of light and that's what makes your fan blade turn it's like what yeah and i went on a long journey studying everything about energy in every form way shape and form guys and a lot of things didn't add up and why are we still using the same way after 150 years and uh studying the right people just picking out the right information studying and anyhow guys uh please share please share <laughs> it'll help me uh yeah wait till you see the next video i got so much so many ideas i mean i haven't even changed the power input that's the thing i haven't even boosted the power Or the frequency, or anything else. I mean, like, there's so many ways that I'm just like, you know, I started out small with the 16 volts, 11 volts. Don Smith started out with a 12 volt battery, and he used a an old laser module from a Xerox copy machine. And so he says there's many, many fine windings in there. He went from 12 volts up to 8,000 volts but now there's always he said yeah you, you know you transform up voltage you can get less current like I just explained to you power is a result of both of them so he said I only had like 30 micro amps but see that's a thing you get the current back in the end and it's all been such a coincidence that I spent 20 years coming to all these conclusions and then seeing Don Smith, and I'm like, oh my God, he said the same thing about radio. Oh my God, he's saying the same thing about this. And oh my God, he's making the same points about this. And Rick Friedrich, oh my God, this Trump video, this Trump uh, waves. And oh my God, I have him. Now I got my scope. I see him. I'm like, oh my God, how can this coincidence after coincidence after coincidence? It's like I'm on the right track. <laughs> you know. Plus, I think I've done things completely different. I might have, hopefully I've done something better. Who knows? I don't know. I, there's a lot of experimentation here. You have to go uh, different points. How do I get the energy out of the system? Where can I make different points? Should I replace all these LEDs with bigger bulbs now? Uh, should I, you know, uh, increase the frequency? Should I boost up the voltage? Uh, my God, you know, my mind's just... <laughs> There's, this is like I said. This is if you think this is impressive, I'm just scratching the surface, man. All right, guys, please stay tuned because this is this is meant to be. I felt. Watch my first video. Watch my first video of this project, and you'll see how this idea came to me. Okay, it's 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 unbelievable. <laughs> so. Please share. All right, guys, subscribe. Give it a thumbs up. And wait till next time. If this is only going to keep getting better and better and better. And I, I've seen many people in the past, like Don Smith and Rick Friedrich, uh, Dr. Thomas Henry Moray, Tesla, and many other people. And it's like, what happened to them? You know, uh, hmm. Why isn't Don Smith, I know he had investors, is it just the age, he 
passed away before things happen. What what happened to it? Why why do we not see this technology? You know, I kind of know the answer, but it's 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 uh, politics is a big game to be playing. You know, multi billion dollar corporations. Anyhow, uh, so you know, even Rick Friedrich, I think he's a good guy, and I, I can think to myself, what happened to him? If he did and knows all this stuff, then why isn't he? Where's his invention? Where? Why isn't this every? Is it too not patentable? Is it? Why isn't everybody doing it? He's teaching everybody, and I get it. Don Smith did too. I see all the signals. I, everything's there. First video I watched, it was like, wow, there's the whole thing right there. I didn't have to watch any more videos. It took me one video. It was like, wow, he just had all the answers that I just, you know, I spent 20 years and go, wow, here's this guy who just put my 20 years of experience all together, figuring out exactly what I figured out. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like unbelievable. I was like, I understood 100% of exactly everything he's saying. And I just veered off one little part. And I'm, I never met, never forget, I read one time about him saying, mentioning or something about, you know, if you have enough experience, you'll figure out what the thing is or something. And it's like, I, maybe I did that. Anyhow, guys, you know, I'm rambling on. All right, see you next time. This is getting exciting. All right, bye.